Yes, right then, hello. And welcome to this stream. It's not a retro Sunday, for one thing, I'm out tomorrow. Um, I'm at a vintage Steam rally. It's a family day out with my two brothers and my dad. Um, I don't think mum wants to go, fair enough. Um, there's going to be lots of Steam stuff there, basically, so traction engines and the like. Um, so that'll be tomorrow, which means I probably won't have the chance to come online, which is one reason I'm doing it today. Um, and, I mean, I guess you could class this as retro. It feels weird to think of the PS3 as retro, but, you know, it came out in 2006 and was, you know, it's been out of circulation for a while now. So I guess, I guess it is, um, at this point, pretty retro. Um, so, yeah, it is a retro one of sorts and we're playing demon souls but the reason it's retro is because it's not from it's not the remake it's the original from 2009 which is pretty exciting um i've played i mean you can probably tell from this shirt i've played dark souls quite a lot i've played one two and three of dark souls and done them haven't played sekiro i'll be honest um I'm mostly an Xbox gamer, so I haven't had the chance to play Bloodborne yet. It's another reason it's taken me a while to get to Demon's Souls. Um, but I have, of course, played Elden Ring many, many times, and it's it's so good. But I thought it, it, it was high time to get to the game that, like, started it all off, um, really. So, with that in mind, it, it just kind of had to be Demon's Souls 2009. I'm going to turn up the music a little bit. I feel like it's not very loud at all. It is playing. I can barely hear it myself. Um, but uh, yeah, so Demon Souls 2009 is what we're going with today. And hopefully, well, I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take me to complete. I'm probably going to die quite a lot. It's my first time playing it, and I know how these games work by now. I'm experienced enough to know how these games work. Um, so without further ado... I'd like to get in, into the game, so in game we go, and we're just on this screen at the moment. Okay. Hopefully the audio works, we'll find it all oh, my arrows on it, I'll have to keep that off it. All right. Yes, of course, this is being emulated again, I have a PC that I'm very lucky it can emulate PS3 games. So, um, there we go. sit through all these bits and I think the opening cutscene just kind of starts I think I'll just let it play when it gets to that again if you hear some sort of audio adjustment I'm probably just trying to get the balance right with that I'm gonna turn off the music at least briefly I might keep it running in the background as I play but I think for the opening cutscene it should be off so let's turn that music off Make sure that we are ready to go Ah.
Well. Well. That was indeed a suitably epic intro. Um, I'm going to have to turn that down a lot if I'm going to be heard over the game. Um, so that is what I have done. Right! Well, let's waste no more time. Let's get into the game itself. As I say, I'll just turn the music back on now. Just a bit of background. In fact, that looks quite loud to be background. So again, I'm just going to turn that down. Don't want it to be overpowering the game or anything like that. Just want it as a background bit. Right. There we go. New game. First game. Yeah, offline mode is absolutely fine. Okay then, well that guy's a similar hairline to me, so that's a good start. What are we calling him? What are we calling him? Some people spend hours just on... Some people will make this just a character creation screen and then... The screen? Stream and then just go. But uh, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to spend too much time on this bit. Um... Uh, we have to think of a suitable name first. Uh, hmm. What can we name him? I might think of that later. I might do the appearance first, then come up with the name last. We've got North, West, East or South for origin. Interesting. Uh, I think I'll just stick to... Actually, I think he should come from the north. He comes down from the north. I don't think, mate, I don't think that makes him look any older whatsoever. It just slightly changes his face. Oh my god. This is amazing. Already we found... We found a setting that would really piss off the transphobes in that gender isn't just binary male or female, but it's not even you're trans either. It's just you're somewhere on a spectrum. That's really fun, that. Although, why, why are the women, like, grey? That's odd. Why are women just grey? Keep it in the middle, I think. Right, hairstyle spiked. A quick gander at this uh, other music down here a second. Um... Turn that back up and send this. I'm just adjusting audio. I'm just hoping I'm getting it right. That looks really loud down there. But I can barely see anything. That's really weird, that. Right, anyway. I'm just going to leave that for now. Just messing around with stuff. Hearted center. I mean, that looks pretty epic, doesn't it? Ponytail. Bold. I think we're going to go for that. It's a classic sort of fantasy cool look, especially if you make him blonde as well. We could make him ginger. Now nah, we're going for like a classic fantasy look here, I think. Oh, details. Shape? Oh, my. See, this is the sort of thing, like, I could be here forever. Want a bigger nose or a bigger forehead? A oh, forehead all day. Yeah. 
can be more of a chiseled jawline if I do that as well. Make his face a bit more central. This is just really cool, you know. Now that's a hero, look at that. Now he looks like a hero. Want to look too jaundiced though, do we? I'm happy with how he looks already, to be honest. Even down to the blue eyes, I think I'm not going to mess with him too much. I'm actually happy with that. However, still need to pick a class. We got soldier, knight, hunter, priest, magician, wanderer, barbarian, thief, temple knight, royalty. Oh, I get it. you can see it behind him, right? I do like just a sword, so I think I might just make him a knight. I'm not very magical in what I do. It's between that for me and Wanderer. Oh yeah, that's, that's a pretty nice sword as well. That's a soul level 6. Soul level 4 for knight. Yeah, let's make him a wanderer actually. And he still needs a name. Uh hmm, what do we go for? I don't know why naming is so difficult. be sat here for a while. Le Galas. No, we're not gonna go with Legolas, but we'll start with Le. No, I don't know. Oh god, what can I name him? What can I name him? Do I just name him something normal like John? Just call him Jonathan or something like that? Just a random guy. Nothing too special, just Jonathan, you know? That that could be that could be a possibility, but we're 20 minutes into the stream and we haven't even started playing the game yet, so I better think of something fast. Um, I 
My friend's got a band called Ataka, and that sounds like it, that sounds pretty cool. Do I shout at my band and just call my guy Ataka? Tempted, you know. Or should I make him like Solaire before Solaire was even a character? You know what I mean? No, I think I might do that. That's no, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna honor my friend's band because they're pretty cool. I'm gonna name my character Ataka, and then every time I stream this game, my friend's band gets a shout out, don't they? You can thank me later. So Ataka is ready to go. And we are about to take on Demon's Soul. Let's go. King Alans the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the same and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon's soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurver the Wanderer. The sixth saint Astraya and her knight Garl Vinland. And Sage Break the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Well... I guess it's time for us to find that out. A brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one. To slumber. Oh no! Oh, the game isn't working properly. 
Oh, that's a disaster. We spent 25 minutes doing all that. Oh, no. This is why you test games before you emulate them. Oh, that's a disaster. I can see everything except the game itself. Let me Google and see if I can fix this. Uh, RCPS3 black screen. It's got a. I have had this before. Uh, what was it? What did I have to do? I have to remake my guy again. Can't remember my details. Uh. I have had this before. Oh, this is a disaster. Uh, I can pause the game. Does that mean I can... Can I, like, quit? Oh, hang on. I have to play the game for it to quit. Interesting you can just pause like that. Oh, hello. I've got everything. System. That saves it, doesn't it? Yeah, load game. So I can save my character. Right. Okay. I'm actually just going to close the game. Okay. Put some music in the background whilst I try and fix this. Which I'm sure we can. Bear in mind. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll let some music playing. There's no point you guys watching me as I do this. Um, so BRB guys. We're here. We got it working. And we have a man on Reddit to thank. His name is... Cannabalabadingdong. Cannabalabadingdong, you're an absolute icon. Thank you very much. Demon Souls is now working for us. And 40 minutes into this stream, we can finally start the damn stream, really. So, try and make sure again. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn off the actual music now in the background. I'll probably turn off the Spotify thing as well, so we can get rid of that in there. There we go. Okay, and now here we are in Demon Souls. Good stuff, right. Let's get on with it. We have waited long enough. So, the only thing I'm really going to have to get used to... I've got to remember this is an old game. So there's no jump button. Like in Elden Ring. There's no jump button. I changed my jump button in Elden Ring anyway. I want standard attack. Yep. Okay. Still a lock on. That's good news. It's all just Dark Souls 1 controls, isn't it? Well, bit of a graphical glitch there. That might happen from time to time. We are emulating after all. But I'm okay with that. If you guys are. How's that? Ow. 
out. All right. Doesn't seem too bad so far. What's all the fuss about these Souls games being hard? Oh. Oh, it's a ghost. How's that possible? I thought it was offline mode. I thought they were always online. Ooh. I'm gonna... I think if I remember correctly, Crescent Moon Grass is like the... It's the... It's, it's just the safe stuff, isn't it, in this game? Not the safe stuff. You know, it's the Estus Flask. The Flask of Crimson Tears of this game. It's not a flask... It's, it's interesting that it isn't a flask in this game. It's a... It's grass. God, I've got a bunch of it as well, oh my god. Have a look at that guy in game. Yeah, there he is. Ataka himself. Am I following that gap down? I think I am. Well, wow, rolling is already not as as effective. Tried to roll away from that. He didn't give a crap. He was gonna get me either way. There's our first backstab. Some of these animations are exactly the same as they are in the first Dark Souls as well. So obviously they got reused. Nothing wrong with that, of course. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that's basically a bonfire type thing. But if I remember correctly, this one kind of transports you as well. There are bits of this game I sort of know about. I don't think there's anything else around here, is there? Is there any? No. Alright then, let's just do it. Touch Heartstone, warp to new area. Here we go. Sage Freak, the visionary. What the fuss about? This game isn't that hard. Parrying. I take. Uh, to be fair though, parrying. Never got on the hang of it. Here we go. There it is. Took me a couple of goes there, but we got it. We got it. I'm probably not going to make a habit of parrying though, because as I say, I'm just not very good at it. It's all about timing, and it's a bit of a worry that I'm not very good at it, given that I'm all about drumming. See what I mean? Oh, right, that's it. See, I'm, I can't be bothered with it. Nah. I've tried parrying so much. Oh my god, is that all that stuff? Right, we have to... Me some more grass. Quick! Fish for the backstab, fish for the backstab. No. Just keep hitting him then. We made that more difficult for ourselves because we kept trying the parry, but we didn't need to. What a waste of a whole bunch of grass that is. Oh, there's another one as well. Guys, as defensive as me. Oh, 
Ha ha! That's the only way you're gonna get that guy. Get rid of his defense. I'm glad I got that one right. Very glad. Oh god, I got a dagger as well. I've got Ed's grindstone as well as my grass. Don't know who Ed was. Half moon. So, it, yeah, it works by the faces of the moon, doesn't it? So crescent moon gives you the least. And then you've got half moon grass and full moon grass. I don't think they do a three quarter crescent moon, do they? Oh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. That is welcome. Just gonna use one now. I'm not gonna use any more. But I've got sort of seven eighths of my health back now. Yeah, that should be enough. know what a bit of fog means. Is the jump button? Is there a jump? Can you jump on this? There isn't a jump at all. It used to be like you, you, you tapped B while sprinting and that was your jump. Oh, okay. I didn't need to anyway. Stop me across. That's confusing. Oh. Alright. Must have been the roll. Must have been the roll that did it. Well, here we go. I'm going to assume... Oh, I'm glad I did that. Right, I'm going to assume this is the bo first boss. Whew, here we go. It wasn't! Ah. He sounded like Alan from Epic NPC Man then. Well, not Alan, is it? It's Greg the Garlic Farmer, I meant to say there. He sounded like Greg. And Greg gets stabbed. It's a very similar sound to that. Hang on, there's more fog. Is this the boss? I've never seen two bits of fog so close together. Yeah, there's a boss. There he is. I can see him. The Vanguard. Hello, mate. I didn't, even, I didn't even get a hit in! Oh my god. That shield is absolutely useless, isn't it? <sighs> Welcome to Demon Souls! Again, you're meant to die to him, aren't you? To initiate this.
I have died, and the Nexus has trapped my soul. I cannot escape the Nexus. Is that it then? However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your physical body. Okay. It's your binding. Right, we've got a few NPCs to speak to by the looks of it. This one's just a statue, isn't it? Yeah. Right then, so he's this blue guy. Look at him, he's just sat there like, I'm all blue, dabba dee dabba die. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the art stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed volatile. Is that the same voice actor as the as the guy in DS1? This is DS1. In Dark Souls one. The you know, the depressed guy at Firelink Shrine there as well. Is it the same guy? I definitely know the voice. He's definitely in Dark Souls as well. Pretty sure it's pretty sure it's him. You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. <laughs> it's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. We're welcome here. As long as we keep slashing up demons. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely the same as him. Can't remember the guy's name now. But yeah. Okay, is this guy a bit jollier? I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here, in the Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Ah, so you can just give stuff to him without having to, like, completely discard it. That's pretty cool. I've got nothing to give him really yet, but it looks a bit, but yeah. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a madman. When I came to, I was in the Nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. I wish I could do more, but I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. That candle maiden cared for me during my first days in the Nexus. She says very little, but has a kind heart. She's just the age my young daughter would have been. The poor, poor girl. Trapped here with her eyes occluded by wax. If only something could be done to help her. If only something could be done to help her. Okay, so I've exhausted his dialogue. Best of luck to you. There's another guy sat here. Who are you? services. The name's Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? Perhaps you've already heard, but there's another blacksmith at the entrance of Stonefang Mine. He's an eccentric old man, but he knows his trade well. He's the only sane one left in a town of soul starving. If you do meet him... Yeah, well, forget it. That stubborn old ne'er-do-well will just ignore you. There aren't enough blacksmiths in this temple to handle all the work. Only certain ores can be used to hold red. Be thankful that I'm still of good health. Be thankful. Okay, another one exhausted. I can tell you're not gonna 
last long here. Not yet, I ain't gone, I've just started. I might need some upgrades in the future. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh my. How has this happened? Has God abandoned us for failing to show proper respect to King Alant? Oh, Mbasa. Oh, Mbasa. Okay, you didn't have much to say. I'm pretty comfortable there, though. So that's all the characters sort of over there. Now, obviously I said this is a statue, but he did say a candle maiden. It's a statue, isn't it? It is a statue! My eyes do not deceive us, I'm sure it is. Okay, so those are all the arch stones going to different worlds, aren't they? There's something almost that that particular sort of stuff going on down here. It looks almost Assassin's Creedy, like Isu kind of thing. This was the same year as Assassin's Creed 2, you know. The start of Souls. My two favourite franchises, I'd say in gaming. Assassin's Creed and Souls. Big place this. Way bigger than the Fighting Shrine in Dark Souls 1. Yeah, I think it's bigger than Fighting Shrine in Dark Souls 3. God, it might be bigger than Bloody Round Tape Behold and Elden Ring. This place is massive, look at it. It's just a whole load of nothing. Which. I think it's maybe why they made them smaller in future games. Unless, you know, as we go through the game, this place gets like filled up by things. I don't know. NPCs or whatever. And now I can just keep going up. Let's see what else is up here. If anything at all. See that you've come all this way and there's nothing in here. Can't can't imagine it stays that way. There has to be something that is up here, otherwise what's the point? Oh, that's, that's a big statue. Ironically, I can't seem to find the Damn fire keepers, I'd call it. There's lots of tips on the ground. Can I not, like, talk to her? Can I not find her? I don't know what's going on. Why am I so lost? I just head off to Boletaria. So, Boletarian Palace. A huge stone castle in the heart of the northern kingdom of Boletaria. Hungry soldiers whose souls have been stolen by demons, attack trespassers, and terrible dragons nest there. Hmm. But I think, is that the only one that's available to me? Yeah, the rest were sealed, aren't they? Oh yeah, that's the cracked one that might have been DLC, but wasn't. Boletari is the only place I'm currently allowed to go visit. So, let's do it! Boletaria it is. There is a Strava, whose homeland is Boletaria.
Okay, here we are. Volatarium Palace. I don't want to return to the Nexus. Oh. Damn it. Get backstabbed. How do I restore my health as well? That's what I need to know. This is something to do with world tendency, isn't it? Beat it like a dead horse. I beat it like a drum. I will stay with you too long. I'm, gl I'm glad to know I have got somewhat of a decent weapon at least. Again, rolling not really doing the job. Finally! And a backstab for good measure. Deja vu that. But I'm glad I was running that. Chill out, mate, honestly. Have a hot chocolate. What are you doing, mate? No, I guess I could fall down there. Or do I want to? Oh, sugar. Oh, no. Walked into that one. Oh, fuck, that's interesting. Wait, what? I didn't kill him? Yeah, that's more like it. Right, where's this fog taking me? I'm wondering if I should have... You know what? Life's too short not to drop down holes when there's a hole to drop down. Drawing them out. I made the right option, and then I went back and made the wrong one. Alright, okay, well, we know now. We know now. We know. We can just get on with it. Wait. I was gonna say.
these guys these guys give you nothing in terms of souls. Pretty pitiful. Meant to be a backstab, but all right. These guys have absolutely no respect for the constructions of their fellow, whatever they are. Definitely nowhere. Well, unless I can land very specifically on something, but it doesn't look like it. What's that all about then? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm going to ignore it this time, but what is that all about? So where are my previous souls to pick up? That's a thought. Can't be down there, can they? I'm pretty sure you can pick up previous souls, can't you? They're usually not where you died, but just before it. But they're not anywhere around here, so I don't know where they are. The tap it can say. Oh, they're right there. Huh. <laughs> oh, I missed that last time. Glad I came back. Oh, great. Oh, dear me. Okay, this time let's not make the same mistake. Through the fog. Didn't even see what that was. Some kind of weapon, I think. Yes, you can play that game, mate. Where are these backstabs, man? Oh. 
Not sure there's any way to him, is there? Not right now, anyway. How do I get to that then? Do I have to get up there and then drop down? I I reckon. Maybe. Don't worry about it too much for now. There it is. What I've been looking for. Disappeared. And he's taking an item with him. Nice. Just what I want to see. And grass, and then I'm assuming this is the drop down point. Oh no, wait, no, it isn't. I guess wrong. Wait, is it? how do I get to that? Do I get to that? That is a really confusing item. Oh! Wait. It hit me, but it, I, I feel like I didn't get much damage from that. Something about this I don't trust. I've been in this situation before in Souls games. Shit. All the grass and go. There's fog over that way. There's also this. Oh. Oh, I don't like the look of this guy. I don't look. I don't feel like I'm ready for this guy. Was it? Yeah, I, I don't like this guy at all. Well, told you. At least my instincts were right. One hit, you know. How useless is like this thing? What is this shield for? If it's the, if it's gonna be that useless. Okay. Wow, the lack of like. Dark Souls style bonfires in this is a real killer. You have to go so far back and start again. Come on then. Come on then! Avacho! Bet they want to call that a draw. Oh. See, last time they couldn't wait to destroy the wood. Now they're being all hesitant. <laughs> Have that, lads. Have that for some timing.
Oh. I am making my way through this time. And this guy's not happy about it. That's why he's just gone a bit crazy at me. That's quite rude. Ah, good. I need some rest. Shit again. Still confused by that. Bye-bye. Get my stuff. Oh, I don't like how close I'm gonna have to get to him, mate. No, 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 run away. No, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, no, no. Oh, let's keep running. Keep running, run away. Uh, 
Right, the least we can say is even if he kills us here, at least our souls are closer. It was nice to be able to call them souls again is the correct word. And I'm not just using them as a substitute for runes. Okay, I think we did it. I mean, this guy looks pretty tough himself. Get back stuff though, mate. Yeah. Oh, you cunt. Get a load of that, mate. Are you safe? More fire bombs, thank you. I don't know where I'm going, by the way. I missed the fog, I know. Right, I get the feeling I was supposed to do that, but I've just sort of gone here by accident. Um... Two in one. And still there are more. Wait, is this a shortcut? Tell me this is a shortcut. Yeah, back to the start. Here we go. So now we're going to have to do all that again. The classic Souls level design where it all interlinks. Good stuff. Right, so now I know but should I die again? Just come into here, look. I really feel like I should use these to, like, level up. I couldn't find the Maiden when I was in there last, honestly. Go through the fog for now. What we're met with. Yeah, I didn't think it was a boss fog. Didn't look like one to me. It's too small. Show me some respect and die like with a backstab like you're supposed to. Ah, 
Oh, hello. NPC. Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? Mostly stolen, but who's telling you? Be a brave knight or depraved slave. The demons will snatch your soul, then you'll go mad. And those who dare cling to their humanity are hunted down. It is the end of Great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> Fair point. Alright, what's he got? He's got a few crescent moon grasses, he's got a few half moon grasses. I think I'm doing alright for all of that at the moment. Hmm, I don't know if I'm ever going to need some bleed stuff, so I'll just buy it because you never know. I've got one then, haven't I? I'm doing all right from everything else. There's this skinny fella, clad in fabulous armor, who's always mumbling about some mission. He's another one who's managed to stay sane like yourself. Probably some pampered son by the looks of his attire. I'd give an arm just for the buttons off his shirt. It is the end of but hell, at least. Okay, we exhausted this dialogue Thanks as well. That. Come back soon. I'd rather not. I want to get through here as fast as I can, mate. To be honest with you. Pretty sure. I've watched some Demon Souls walkthroughs before. Pretty sure there's a way down here. And isn't there like a guy down? Yeah, him. He's an NPC to save. I don't know how to get down. Ah! You just... Just hold... Hold forward and go. Alright then, hello mate. That was a bold jump. A surprise indeed. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dreglings. Okay. Time to get the barrel, but you know, three and one will do. Oh, I had to land on the. Oh no! Why did I land on the fire? Well, at least I haven't got as far to go now. Mind you, that's a lot more fire people to get through. Oh, that's a bad start. Oh, this is going a lot worse. Try too hard to rush it there. Waste of grass, really. That was unnecessary. Taking the fight to them this time. Every shortcut has its downfall. Yes, lots of grass, please. Still more of them to come, isn't there? Ah, oh, just the one, maybe, then.
Go on, jump across the gap. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah. Wait, he did not survive that. Oh my god, what? I'm gonna get past the big guy as well, haven't I? I don't know what world tendency I'm in at the moment. It does help that I've played Dark Souls 1, because like I know a lot of these animations. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? How did I get over? Oh, crud, where's the guy gone? Oh! My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Volatari. I died, mate. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. You're welcome. I'm not gonna like keep saving him though. Oh, correctly. Now I must go. There is something for me to take care of. What on earth are you doing? Please. You must not. We are we are. Sorry. I was trying to save you. Only the soul stop. I shall save you, Ostrava. Okay, that's near me. No matter how far I venture, is there a single sane person left in Bolotaria? Yeah, me. I'm here. Hello. Where, where are you going? Done. No matter how far he's there. How long do I have to follow this guy for? Even him to you. Oh. No matter how far is there. 
Where are you going now? I don't know, I don't know, is that it? Is that as far as I need to follow him for? What are you doing back out here? I don't know why he's back down here. Okay, if I followed him as far as he goes, then I'm happy. Now he's going backwards again. Where are you going, lad? We've, we've done this, look. You've just come from here. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, I think he's done, isn't he? He turns right here, I'm done. Yeah, no, sorry, mate. You've lost the plot. Stop it. That guy really is rude. The two of them? What? Oof. Sorry, I heard someone as well. What the? Where do these people come from? Ah! Well done, you. Where did they all come from? <laughs> Have I been here before? Yeah. We got do guy in here, haven't we? He's another one who's money probably so I ain't given up. Yeah. Go ahead, take your time. Okay. Where do I go now then?
I'm feeling pretty lost now. Won't lie. Uh. Oh wait, can I go up this way? Right. Oh. That's what we wanted from him. Whilst he's down, just take care of him. Oh! Get wrecked, son. I'll take your grass as well. All mine. Late moon grass as well. Late moon. Ah, so there is a three quarter moon. Late moon. What's this? Hmm. I have 2,892 souls. I don't know what to do with them. Um. Uh. 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 Okay. Balls. Ooh. Ah! No way. No. What? Oh my god, I'm alive. I'm alive. Ah! <laughs> How am I alive? I don't know, but I am taking it and I'm not complaining. God damn, that was unfair. But I have survived the triple roll, or however many it was. Loads of them. Quadruple roll, even. No! Quintuple roll! Whoo! There's very little music in these games, apart from in boss fights. Now there is an Elden Ring, but that's a different game, you know. I know it's from this family of games, but it's different. And it's more magical, I think, and it sets the atmosphere in that way, whereas here... You hear nothing, and I think that really works for it. Um... Nah, it's not worth it. Can I, get, can I get back to the Nexus somehow? Check world tendency. I don't know what any of this means.
Ow. Uh, shit. Um, um, uh. This is what I thought was going to happen earlier when I was talking about not trusting the situation, but it's happening here. Oh no. So I guess now I've got to try and get across this bridge. Oh no, no, no. Got 3,000 souls that I'd rather not lose. Okay, this, this, this thing. Oh no, no, no. Go on. Kill everyone. Kill everyone. No, 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 don't just fly off. These two can piss off. There it is. Concentration, you guys. Right. Oh, he's gone. Oh. There it is. Oh no, not again. No, 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 no. Right, now what do I do? Is he gone? Sort of, maybe? Go, 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 ignore these people. Don't, don't even care. Leave me alone. Okay. Ooh! I'll just leave them to it. Okay. 
Missed. Okay. Uh oh. What the blazes is that? Slimes. Ah. Yes, there we go. And that's the first boss. So with that in mind... Can now go back and see if I can level up. For the love of God, tell me I can level up and use these souls so I don't waste them or lose them. I want to level up! Who are you? Oh, is you Strava? Maybe? At its peak, Boletaria was a grand kingdom. The king, his knights, and his subjects were modest and plain, but also steadfast and compassionate. In the distant southern kingdom, Boletaria was known as paradise on earth. But look at what has become of us now. I refuse to believe that this is what Father wished for our great land. I refuse to believe that this is what Father wished for our great land. Hmm. Looking something up real quick. Right, I just looked something up, which I know is slight cheating, but whatever. So... Can't level up anyway. Until I defeat that boss. So I have to go in there, basically. Guess risk the souls. You just have to make sure you get them back. Alright. Well, back there it is. <laughs> right, let's not rush this bit this time.
Boo. Okay, nearly that. Okay, our first proper boss fight, because there's the boss at the start, but you're meant to lose to that, so our first proper boss fight. Here we go! Phalanx. Okay, so they don't count as part of the Phalanx. Uh, what does then? I'm not really hitting any of this right now. There's a bit of a concern. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. I'm not here. I definitely don't want to be here if I die. I want to be at least somewhere I can get souls back quickly, you know what I mean? I don't... I don't want to lose all my grass in this one if I can help it. I feel like I've done nothing. Oh, hang on. What's this? Wow. Well done, me. What? How has it regained health? Am I missing something here? I feel like I'm definitely missing something on this one. This one. I can't figure this out at all, you guys. If I get anywhere near it. I can't figure that out at all. I couldn't seem to damage it. Um, what do I do? Once again, we are faced with a puzzling game that I am too dumb to get to the bottom of.
Right, first things first, you get the souls back. What? Oh, come off it. I'm going to assume I just have to keep killing... Wait... Did it... Did it just reabsorb it? It looked to me like it just... reabsorbed it. And every time I die, I seem to be really far away from the opening door, which is not useful in any way, shape, or form. How was it? Wow, they're too accurate with those, man. How many of them are there? Kill it! I'm going to try and killing as many of these as I can and see where that gets me. I do like that you get individual souls for for these. That's quite cool. Just 
Two in one. Okay, there definitely seems to be fewer of these things, so we'll just keep on going how we are at the moment. Weapon broke? Now? God, Fred's grindstone. No. It's such a risk just to kill one of them. Oh my god, their shields. Why isn't my shield ever that effective? This is the weirdest fight of my life. Can't seem to get- there we go. That's what we needed. Oh! What does turpentine do? Ow. Ah, fire. Okay. Ooh, this is doing something. I mean, it's fire. You'd hope it would. Okay, we should be fine from here on in, I would think.
What should I do without the serpentine? What do you need more of these are there? Is that all of them? No defense now. There we go. Ooh. Good stuff. That one just took patience, didn't it? Which is something I'm famously short on. Missed. Missed as well. Turn yet. I want to see what's this way. Am I supposed to see what's this way? Oh, no, right. Yeah, it's still in that dragon. Turn to the Nexus with nearly 7,000 size, you know, not bad at all. Welcome back. The monumental awaits the above. Monumental will explain the next to be. Okay. God damn it. stairs do you need? Oh my god, we're still going. This is a monumental set of steps. climbed all the way here! Oh, come on!
But once again, the confusion is real. Anyone who's played Demon Souls is screaming at me right now. Just saying, go there. Where? I went all the way up the stairs and I got met with a wall. See? Hang on. Oh, wait. What was that? Oh! Wow, okay. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united, owing to the sole art. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the Old One. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thank be. We were able to lull the old one back to his slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious arch stones. One the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowmen. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arc. Finally, we became monumental, half living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. By the power of the monumentals, the four sealed archstones have been released. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber, and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. 
Have you the strength to accept this mission? No, credit. Yes, we are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. Hmm. Okay. We neutralized the old one and banned the soul arts. Then we spread the arch stones, and in order to mend reality, monumentals we became. However, man's memory of history is o'er short, and before long he repeated his mistakes. The monumentals perished, and the arch stones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted King Alant once again aroused the old one. The monumentals perished, and the short-sighted King Alant once again aroused the old one. So what? He was short-sighted, didn't realise it was a big fuck-off demon, and so made it horny. Gotcha. Okay. No worries. Right then, let's make our way back down. No, this is not a way down. Oh, I found an item. Stone of ephemeral eye. Interesting. Wrong way. I want to go down. We're going to level up and then we're going to end the stream there, I think, today. Not death. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. Ice stones temporarily connect the diffuse worlds. Should you lose your physical form, remember the ice stone. Maiden controls inhuman souls. This power allows her to aid those who slay demons. Hmm. What is it? Left me up. Dost thou seek soul power? Yes. So be it. After all, thou requirest strength. Go forth, touch the demon inside me. Let these ownerless souls become thine own. So we've got a king arousing a beast, and now she's asking me to touch the demon inside her. This is a horny game, you know. Right. Oh, if I gotta do it one at a time, oh man. So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Hmm. Attack power doesn't seem to be going up, does it? So I've got the same attack power after upgrading all that strength and dex. That's mad, that is. Man, this game worked in strange ways back then. Right! Finally, we go up on the next one, but I've just about run out of souls. God dang it. As for me, I am only here to tend to the flames. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. 
thou done? Not quite. Mayn't so I thought. Strength help the world be mended. Inventory. I have got some souls, haven't I? So there's how many does this give me? Okay, one more of them, and I've got enough to just level up once more. Thou seeketh then soul of the mind, key to life's ether. There we go. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. Art thou done? May thine strength help the world be mended. Well then, there we are. We are done for a bit. We have begun Demon Souls, finally. I think I've been meaning to do really since I started streaming. Um, but um, yep, yeah, so we will finish it there. We had a few teething problems early doors with the graphics and things. But um, after that, that wasn't too bad actually. Um, yeah, it's a Souls game. It's the first Souls game, but and you can tell that in a few ways. But all the foundations are there, and you know it. It still plays really, really well. It plays a lot, of course, like Dark Souls One, um, which suits me because that's actually my favorite Dark Souls game um, over two and three, um, and probably my favorite Souls game in general. You know, it, it's it's up there with Elden Ring. Elden Ring. I think Elder Ring is like in in every single way in terms of graphics and like gameplay for you know, and all this sort of stuff. It's it's a bigger and better game, but it doesn't have doesn't quite give me the same atmosphere that Dark Souls One does. So I've always preferred Dark Souls One for that reason. Um, but even so, but you know this this demon Demon Souls is different again. You know. Um, and I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy it a lot. So thank you everyone who's tuned in. I've got to go get my uh, dinner now because um, that is what we do. So, um, yeah, we will stop there. Thank you, everyone, who joined me. And uh, it's bank holiday uh, this weekend, so I might not stream tomorrow because, as I say, I'm at this vintage Steam rally with my, with my family, but I might stream um, on Monday. We will see. All right, then. Take care, everyone. Drink water. Get enough sleep. Do all that sort of stuff. Also, thank you to Mortal Nebula who followed me six days ago when I wasn't on stream. But I still want to thank you for uh, following me in there. Good stuff. Right then, we shall leave it there. Thank you, everyone. Take care of yourselves, and I shall see you soon in another stream. Goodbye.